In this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool little Hot Route Master trick that you can utilize out of Bunch Tight End to be able to uh, give you a really nice little route combination that will beat man coverage and zone coverage and really space the field vertically really, really, really well, as well as still be able to attack horizontally. Now, if you wanna get my entire Bunch Tight End offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 uh, to become a member and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The player we're gonna be taking a look at today is Triple Out. You could also use this um, out of PA Boot Over, but I'm gonna show it out of Triple Out because we do have this kind of unique uh, pull route in this deep uh, corner route on the on the uh, left side. So this is something that Madden 23 has really um, kind of uncovered for us in terms of just a concept. We haven't really seen this before, but essentially if you take a look at this, and, and I'm not gonna, we're gonna do something different, but if you were to, you know, corner route this outside uh, bunch receiver, and you have this deep corner route, this is kind of the big corner, little corner concept. We saw this out of tight offset. And what you'll see here is it has potential uh, to be able to basically bomb, you know, zones. It also has uh, and can do a really good job of pulling zones. And if you take a look at the replay here, you'll notice that this shorter corner route against like a cover four, as soon as he starts to turn now at this point right here, I can throw this to the sideline and be able to um, basically use this as a pull route, okay? So I wanted to kind of keep that going though, but with, with a little bit of a caveat. So uh, the caveat is basically this, um, we're gonna block our tight end, we're going to uh, slot apprentice post, either one of the receivers on the side, it's kind of up to you what you wanna do. Um, I actually really like to uh, put, the, put the, the slot on the post, and then the other receiver, you're gonna put him on an in route, a hitch route, a drag route, a slant route, any of the three, okay? Um, so anything anything like that uh, is what I like to do. So you see here, a hitch, an in, something. Now, you can block the running back if you want to. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want with the running back as well. It's kind of a freestyle. So you can you know, in route the running back, you can wheel the running back, which is pretty common for me. You can uh, block him. You can block and release him, right? There's a lot of things we can do with this running back route, um, but basically this is the concept, and I love this play. Um, the reason why is because what you'll see here is against man coverage, this deep, super deep corner route has a pretty good chance of beating man coverage over the top. What's nice about that is this forces some type of, of, um, of coverage to be had over there on the deep sideline, okay? So they have to have something to help them in coverage over the top, okay? Uh, so again here, you know, we'll show you, and just ignore Cromartie's route because we forgot to put him on the slot apprentice post before we motion him over, which you do have to do that. But if we just take a look at the coverage here, so let's say, you know, they did something like, like this, okay? And then over here, maybe they drop this guy or they blitz him or whatever, okay? But the bottom line is they have to have some kind of zone deep over the top to help bracket um, this route, okay? So what you'll see here is now it's gonna open up this middle of the field. And I threw that a little bit too early, but it's gonna open up the middle of the field where we can kind of play some games with the user. So they have to have something deep over the top. So because they have to have something deep over the top, now it changes how they can defend everything else on the play, okay? They, the resources they can allocate underneath. So um, here, this is a little better example. Uh, again, we also know that against blitzes, especially at 33 Cub, if you block your tight end, um, it becomes a lot easier to pick up the blitz. So they drop a deep zone here. They have this guy covering the back. And now the users in the middle of the field having to either go with this in route or having to take the post. And this is one of my I mean, just his favorite concept in the game. Um, and again, you, I would, I would put, I would only block uh, six um, because you still want to have some kind of quick read. So whether that's dragging the tight end and blocking the running back, or blocking the tight end and dragging the running back, or wheeling the running back, like whatever. But basically, here what you'll see is. This slot apprentice post is one of the most consistent routes in this game for being able to attack man over the middle of the field. So you have a really good man beating route in the post, and you have a really good man beating route in the um, in the uh, the deep corner route. And you can smart route that route. You don't have to run it. You know, if you want to smart route it, you you certainly can. Here I'll show you it this way. 
if you if you motion this receiver uh, again, it's it's going to basically be the same. It's the same basic concept. It just changes the alignment slightly. Um, but the other thing is, again, I would give yourself, you know, some options. So you know, again, one of my favorite things is you know doing something like this. Really good setup. Really really good setup. Okay, because if you watch this, you see this in route underneath. Typically, will beat main coverage, especially especially if that player has. Uh, the short and elite ability. Now, what makes this play even better is how it spaces the field uh, well against zone. Okay, so against zone, how is this play going to space the field? Well, you have this running back flat route that is going, and you could put him on a table route as well, but he's going to pull the flat zones out, and then I can throw in that little pocket if they if they don't have a yellow zone. If they do have a yellow zone, as you saw, they did right there. Then again, we still are in this kind of issue because this is the user, okay? So the user, if he goes down to take the underneath route, which he probably will right here, if he goes down to take that underneath route, we pretty much won the game because, because we're running this with our bunch to the wide side of the field. There's a lot more space for the slot apprentice post to just run. And so you'll see here, he can run himself all the way open over in this little pocket against pretty much any coverage in the game. So this is a very, very good setup for uh, really just any kind of zone that you're going to face. It's decent against man. Um, you have routes, of course, that are going to work against man. The other thing that you have, though, uh, in this, and if you wanted to, you could do something like this as well. This is another ver variation of the same of the same basic concept. Um, you know, but again, I really like this right here. You know something like this so you see okay zone playmaker this guy over the middle and then look at this look how deep this look how deep that uh that post got open over the over the sideline we're at about the 30 it's going to get over it's going to get over the top um of 30 yard flats is, is kind of the idea here so if they're in a situation where they double flat with a third or whatever and they're doing some double Mabel because you there's other concepts in bunch tight end of course like you you're going to be flooding you're going to have like you know, standard sale concepts and all that. Now you go to something like this and you see here, I can get this ball up over the top of a 30 yard cloud. So it makes this play super effective and high level for just kind of breaking down different coverages. If they're running a lot of man coverage, um, you want to run against man, you want to sit against zone. So what I like to do, this is where I really like this setup. Just something simple like this. This is a five out version. It, it's almost impossible to defend this in man coverage because you have so many open routes. The only way you're going to get stopped is if they, if, is if they, um, you know, if they pressure you. So that's where you know, just doing something like this, where you have a six man pass pro, and then you have this underneath mesh concept. These drags have a chance to get open, and then of course your post and the corner route also. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my entire bunch tied in offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon. You'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks over there.